This is a Fox News alert. We have just learned that the U.S. has fired its first missiles at Libyan air defenses. Our Steve Harrigan is streaming live from Tripoli, the capital of Libya. Steve, what's going on? Jamie, a very tense, anxious mood here in Tripoli. A lot of firing up into the air. It was called panic firing by someone earlier today. I think there's a lot of truth to that. People shooting at whatever they think is moving in the skies above. As far as actual fighting goes, French warplanes took to the air today around the rebel stronghold of Benghazi, about 600 miles to the east of here. 20 French warplanes in action, those Rafale planes, one engaging a Libyan government military vehicle. There are unconfirmed reports that four Four government tanks were destroyed, but one thing is certain, the shooting has begun in this operation. As far as the city of Benghazi itself, a city of 700,000 people, it is a scene of chaos there. Gaddafi government forces are already inside that city, certainly complicating things for any no-fly zone. They're in there with armor as well as ground troops, and they've been hitting Benghazi with artillery throughout the day. Many civilians in that city have already begun to flee to try and flee to the east. As far as the response of Colonel Gaddafi himself, we expect him to appear on state television later today, but through spokesman he has earlier today expressed defiance, saying this is a violation, an interference in Libya's internal affairs, and whoever does it will regret it promising retaliation. As far as the capital here of Tripoli, there are already human shields in motion. That is Libyan civilians volunteering to take up posts around the presidential compound, Gaddafi's compound, as well as the airport. And we just heard Jennifer Griffin report a short time ago about cruise missiles fired. Of course, those would be targeted on air defense systems all around the country, some of them certainly located near the capital here. We haven't heard any of those major explosions yet, but this capital city is certainly waiting and tense for those sounds. Back to you in New York. Steve, thank you very much. We should mention, folks, that that report from Jennifer is an exclusive, and we'll bring you much more from the Pentagon. She is standing by as well. Thank you so much, Steve.